Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding, Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 21, Job Practice. Preparation and assembly of a pipe workpiece with a consumable insert. Objective, to properly prepare, assemble, and tack weld a set of scheduled 60 steel pipe rings with a consumable insert. The standard joint specifications are root face, 1 32nd to 1 16th inch, groove angle, 75 degrees. Material, 8 inch diameter scheduled 60 steel pipe, 2 nipples per workpiece. Electrode, 1 8 inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. Consumable insert, type Grinnell. Shielding gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves, and helmet. Wire brush, wire cutters, and pliers. Machine settings. Polarity. Direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90. Tungsten electrode stick out, 2 to 3 electrode diameters. To begin this exercise, each pipe ring should be prepared on both sides with a 37 and 1 half degree bevel. Then grind a 1 32nd to 1 16th inch root face on each beveled edge. This root face should be consistent all around the joint in order to provide a uniform surface for the insert. A 1 16th inch filler rod can be used to gauge the dimension. Remove all burrs from the inside of each pipe ring. Then clean the joint surfaces to remove oil, grease, moisture, scale, and rust contamination. In addition, clean white gloves are recommended to handle the pieces. Place the insert in the end of one of the prepared joints. Note that the insert is slightly larger than the pipe, which will produce some overlap. The fit up should be as accurate as possible. Make a small tack weld within two inches of the ends of the insert. This tack weld is made without filler metal and joins the insert to the joint bevel. Start the arc on the bevel and melt a small portion of the bevel into the insert. Deposit tack welds every one and a half to two inches until the overlapped portion of the insert prevents good fit up. A hacksaw or hand shears are used to cut the overlapped portion of the insert. Care must be taken to fit the insert accurately against the joint edge to prevent cutting off too much of the insert. After cutting, the gap between the two ends of the insert should not exceed 1 32nd inch. Now finish tack welding the remainder of the insert using the same procedure. Place the last tack weld in the gap between the ends of the insert. Now place the second pipe nipple against the insert to form the complete joint. The root face should fit tight against the insert. Deposit small tack welds to join the insert to the second pipe. These welds should be located halfway between the existing tack welds. Start the arc on the first pipe bevel and form a puddle. Carry the puddle across the insert and onto the second pipe bevel. These tack welds should fuse the consumable insert into both of the beveled edges. Use filler metal to join the two ends of the insert together. Filler metal should be added until the hole is completely filled.
flush with the insert. Now, reinforce the tack wells at the 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock positions to a size of 1 quarter to 1 half inch. The prepared joints must be as consistent as possible to provide quality weld results. When properly prepared, a joint with a consumable insert is easier to weld than an open root joint, since the welder does not have to manipulate a filler metal rod. Regardless of the type of insert, the procedure for assembling the pipe joint is the same. Inspect the assembled workpiece and then check with your instructor.